Hey, hey, yeah, I gotta start remembering to turn my camera this way instead of this way. Anyhow, can you forge cast iron? No, you can't. Uh, some people say that there's an old school way. I don't know it, uh, and I, yeah, I could I could have figured this answer out just by googling. And common sense should have told me. Well, not common sense, but my learning through past um, workings, dealings with cast iron should have told me. I've worked with cast iron pipe before. You can hit it with a hammer and, and it'll shatter. It'll break. It's very brittle stuff. It's very hard. It's very brittle. It has a high melting temperature. I found this old cast iron shit pipe out in the woods today at work. And, and um, so what I wanted to do was make a cast iron crucible since cast iron has such a high melting point. And it has, it's not that I don't have the money for a graphite crucible. I could order one, but I'm just trying stuff, you know. I'm just trying stuff. Anyhow, so my initial thought was that, you know, once I got one piece cut off for what I needed, I needed a bottom piece to weld to it. Welding steel to iron is not the easiest thing to do at all. Welding cast iron, period, is not easy. But, so I was going to take a piece of the cast iron and I cut a section off and I split it down the middle. And my thought was get it hot enough and flatten it out. Hammer blows, light hammer blows, just kind of flatten it out because the high heat, it would be mendable. But it's not. It will break just the same. Uh, it actually breaks easier. So I did notice that at low temperatures that it did kind of flatten out a little bit. And you guys will, will see that if you pay close attention to the video. So let me show you this video. And um, this video does have a squeal in it. And it may hurt your ears. You may want to turn your, your volume down for this. My ears are trashed. I'm screaming a lot in this video because of the rain and, and, and the uh, foundry behind me going on. But, anyhow guys, just enjoy the video, I guess, and, um, yeah, I'll talk to you here in a minute. Alright, well, it's pouring down rain. Beautiful South Carolina weather. I don't know what time it is, but we probably could have worked a little bit longer today. But we'll have to talk about that tomorrow. But currently, right now, I'm working on creating a cast iron crucible. So I found an old piece of cast iron shit pipe. It's been around for God knows how long. So, uh, we're sitting over there. I just cut a length off of it, and I got another piece of it that I've cut a seam down the middle. And I'm trying to get it hot enough to forge it out. To, uh, and I'm having to talk loud because of the rain. But, uh, to see if I can forge it out enough to get it flat so that I can weld it to the bottom of this piece and have a cast iron crucible. Let me fix you guys up here. bigger to work with. High melting temperature, but it is brittle. It is definitely brittle. So, just hold tight. Let me get it hot again, and we'll see what happens.
we've got to find a different way to put a bottom on there. And welding steel to iron, well, that's just a totally different story. Of course, I do have some, do have some flat iron here. Maybe. Toodles. You can see it didn't work out too well. Um, I googled it after I came in the house um, and realized that people have tried it and there's really no way to do it. I heard that there is, but I, I, I don't know the way, and I, you know, I'm not really that concerned about it. Um, but I, you know, I'll, I'll get that figured out, and yeah, we'll just see how things go. I'll let you know how they go. Anyhow, I'm about to eat some uh, some sloppy joes. Manwich. <laughs> I'm sorry, manwich. Say a man witch. Man witch. Man <laughs> witch. So I'm eating some warlocks today. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys have a good one. Um, <clears throat> there, there's going to be more to come, man. I have found some awesome, awesome, awesome graveyards to go and check. Um, Amy's found some awesome graveyards to go and check. I found some awesome houses that's been tucked away in the woods for a very long time. And I'm talking old houses to the point to where it's logs sitting on top of river stones. <laughs> that old anyhow guys uh give me a like give me a subscribe we're gonna start coming up with some more stuff uh i got some friends that want to get involved with some things so see you later bubble tuna